Hello, good morning class. Today I'm gonna continue what we have uh, left from last last week or the previous lesson. Uh, it is under topic light under refraction. Uh, so today we will do uh, the dispersion of white light. Okay. So before we continue, before we start, um, can you please watch other videos that I took from YouTube and please watch that video first before you uh, continue with my lesson okay so so here is a dispersion of white light white light is made up of seven colors so the white light have seven colors and as you know uh, the Roy G beef the red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet and you learn this one from the color of the rainbows correct so so what happened this rainbow forms the seven color is due to the splitting of the white light into these colors is known as the dispersion of white light dispersion of white light the causes of dispersion is um, the different color travels at different speed in glass. Okay, if you watch the video from YouTube, you will notice that this one animation showing that the wave of the white light as it enters the glass, the wave slows down. Okay. And then why it's uh, dispersed into seven color? Uh, it's because of the red. Start from the red color. It deviate. It deviates the list. Deviates ni maksudnya ia refract, refract, ataupun bend the list. Makin paling sedikit red. So we have the red color here on the top, and then the violet deviates the most. So here violet di bawah ni. So in between here in between will be all the five colors, okay? So in vacuum all colors travel uh, sorry, all colors travel in the same speed which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. All right? So each color of lights gets refracted by a different angle as it passes between air and glass. Okay? So those are the two reasons why uh, the white light can disperse when it enters the glass. All right. Next one. Um, total. Oh yeah, I need to emphasize this part. Huh? It come. It does come out in exam, especially um, drawing the diagram. Okay. Please remember the dispersion of light starts from here. Please take note. It starts from here it start to spread out and then from here the light itself is already bent ataupun refracted okay and then the bottom one will be the refracted moss so please remember it starts from here okay. all right let's move on next one is the total internal reflection and critical angle one of the very important uh, part in the refraction very very important part so when the light passes from denser medium to a less dense medium let me enlarge this part okay when the light passes from denser medium now where is the denser medium this is denser medium this is denser medium or i will label over here let's say this one denser medium which is glass normally glass water boleh jua to a less dense medium less dense medium this is air normally air so technically the light travel from glass to air okay the emergent ray is refracted away from the normal okay so class can you please make a correction there is a correction here this angle is wrong it should be labeled over here okay 
it should be labeled over there so what they mean here is when the light here and leaves the glass it will reflect it away from the glass okay? away from normal all right now please take note this is very important how about this part this ray of light as it enters from air to glass kenapa di sini no refraction why there is no refraction here why there is no refraction okay now if you look through back to my notes on the refraction if the ray of light enter the glass with an angle of 90 degree there will be no refraction at all we see 90 degree no refraction so that's why you go straight saja and then when it comes here it will be refracted and here we have a small gray area not gray area small partial small tiny part of light that has been reflected but don't worry about this part normally uh, we just ignore this part next one as the incident angle increases you will notice from the video that i share you from the youtube the person move the ray box slowly from 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 here and then slowly move to here you will notice there is uh, changes on light okay as the incident angle increases as the incident angle increases eventually the refracted ray will have an angle of 90 degree this special angle is known as critical angle class we need to make some correction over here. Can you please cancel this part? Ani dada ni patutnya. Biar tiak. Okay, I'll just ignore this part. Huh? So, so what is a critical angle? This angle here. This angle here. Technically, this angle C ni is sebenarnya I. Is the incident angle. Ia incident angle, but when the angle of refraction become 90, ye no longer become I, ye kana panggil C, critical angle. Only this special conditions. When it reach 90 degree, then incident angle becoming a special angle known as critical angle. Please take note, the whole part here, the whole part here, is very important because definition will come out in exam all right next one the formula refractive index that so far we have learned so far lah, huh, that we have learned we have n is equal to sine i over sine r and then we have n equal to apparent depth sorry real depth over uh, apparent depth and then we have another one the speed okay we have the uh, speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in glass so far we have three if i'm not mistaken huh? Now it comes into four. Uh, the fourth one. The fourth one is sine c equal to one over n, or it can also be arranged in a form of n over one over sine c. So what is c? Very easy. C any is the critical angle, and atasani is just a number one. It's just a number one. All right. Next one. So, when the angle of incidence here, as you notice here, if we increase lagi the angle beyond critical angle, melebihi value critical angle, 
the light instead of going out instead of arah border ia masuk ke dalam kalau ia sudah masuk dalam sini once it enters this region arah glass they call it the total internal reflection same case the whole thing this one the whole thing in it is also definition of total internal reflection it does come out in exam they're asking for definition huh? but if I'm not mistaken this definition is not complete you have to refer to your small notebook pass your not small physics notebook those revision all those family formula and uh, formula and definition there you can find a complete definition okay next one now look at the diagram here as the light gets goes extend in this region if the incident angle greater than critical angle the light will be reflected re reflected uh, class the word here reflected no longer refraction there's no longer refraction it's a reflected and now ani pun salah ni dia ni buat this one supposed to be r eh. and this one will be become i so angle of incidence is equal to angle of refraction apa ya All right. Now let's look uh, for the example. The following glass prism has a refractive index of 1.5. Calculate the critical angle of uh, the light passing through the prism. Okay. So if we calculate here and I uh, Sorry, yeah, sekejap. Alright, class, um... Just wait for a while, I need to pull... Okay, now N is equal to 1 over sine C and then if you substitute 1.5 equal to 1 over sine C, let's do this, okay one more time, N is equal to 1 over sine C and then N is 1.5 divided by 1 over sine C and c is equal to 1 divided by shift uh, 1.5 sine c yeah. and then c is equal to find out how much is the angle over here okay find out how much the angle over there then after that you have to draw your diagram over here you need to draw here and then it will reflect that here draw the normal and then reflected balik semula out okay don't worry after school reopen i will explain this one one more time do not draw this diagram i'll just explain huh? it's very difficult for me to explain here so i'll just keep this one part we just move on to the sec uh, the last part next one is the uses of total internal reflection so the uses of total internal reflection is one of them is what we call the optical instrument okay this is what we call the periscope so they put here a right angle glass prism and then they also put here a glass prism over here all right now when they put it over here so the light will go and then reflected and you see the image from here okay 
same case here with binoculars they do have this small prism and then it will be reflected okay it goes to the eyes sorry so those two are the what we call that the application one of the optical instrument used as for ref total internal reflection now here we have a question why do you think prism are used instead of mirrors manarito if you look over here the periscope macam if you have a project lah you if you want to make a, a periscope you can use mirror saja wah instead of let's say I'll, I'll draw for you guys let's say we have a periscope over here and then we want to see uh, something object atas sini instead of putting prism here we masukkan glass saja so if we have a glass over here and then we put glass over here we can also see the object for example like flowers so this is the mirror it does give you the same effect sama juga but however instead of putting mirror they put prism kenapa pulang pakai prism why not glass why not mirror the reason why here is because of um, after sometimes mirror will become tarnished ataupun kabur but the prism uh, it will maintain its uh, clear reflection -nya. so that is the reason why they do not use mirror instead of in, why they do not why they do not use mirror they use prism okay because after long time use after no, just person after sometimes mirror will become blur okay blur okay. so next one is um can you please cancel this one light pipes they don't call it light pipes we call it the fiber optics fiber optics when we have a fiber optics um, light light enters at one end and repeatedly reflects from one from the walls of the fiber, the fiber optics huh? fiber optics until it emerge from the other end what are the light pipes used for um, here we just put this in it telecommunication huh? okay so you will if you notice recently, I think last year, um, Telbru, uh, your internet speed di rumah makin laju. You can boost up to 20 megabyte at 20 Mbps, even 40, even 100. Uh, it is only applicable if your house can install fiber optics. So how this fiber optic works is they instead of the using telephone wire telephone wire any is a copper wire instead of using electrical signal cop fiber optics they use light signals which will be very very fast because as you know light punya speed is three times ten to the power of eight meter per second so signal can be sent very very fast and then it will, um, it's what we call efficiency nya lagi tinggi that's why fiber optics is nowadays is more um, is you commonly used in telecommunication because they can go up to very very high speed okay um, well I think that's all for today uh, not much we only use uh, we only cover for two pages saja uh, but I do share you guys with the other YouTube videos. Please watch that videos. Um, I will send you another second assessment on the refraction. Uh, maybe on Saturday. I think that's all for today. Thank you class.